It's filled with vitamins A and E. It's super rich and creamy. It hydrates, smooths, and soothes dry, itchy skin. You can use it on rough areas of the skin or all over the body. It's your choice. Today, we're making a Shea and Coconut Body Cream. This cream is soft and melts on contact with the skin. And you only need three ingredients to make this simple but luxurious cream. It's your girl, Renee Barnett, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this creamy butter recipe, you only need three ingredients, shea butter, coconut oil, and vitamin E. I will be adding essential oil, but that is completely optional. Begin by placing both your shea butter and your coconut oil in a bowl or container together. Next, place your heat safe bowl in hot water so that the butters melt down together. So you can use a double broiler or if you use extremely low heat, you can just place your heat safe glass container into your pot. Again, I use very low heat as to not destroy the essential vitamins that both of the ingredients have to offer the skin. I usually make a thicker butter, but this time I wanted a creamier, lighter texture, almost like a lotion that would melt into my skin without adding all the additional oils, but still offer me the benefits of a hydrating moisturizer that's natural and quick to make. This cream has a soothing and healing effect. Shea butter and coconut oil are great if you have dry skin or suffer from eczema or contact dermatitis because of their soothing properties. Now that my ingredients are melted down, I'm going to let them sit in the refrigerator for about 20 to 30 minutes. Now, if you make this cream, the time could be a little longer or shorter depending on the temperature of your refrigerator. Now I'm going to use my emulsion blender because I want to achieve a creamy, soft texture, almost like lotion, but a little thicker. So when I use the emulsion blender, I use the pulsating setting and I dip my mixer in and out of the mixture. And as you keep doing this, the mixture starts to thicken up like ice cream. As there is not water in this recipe, it seems to take a little bit less time for the mixture to thicken up and become creamy. You have to keep working with the product to reach your desired consistency. So now I'm going to use my whisking attachment just to make my cream a little fluffier. And this is going to help incorporate a little more air into my mixture. As this is my personal cream, I'm making it to suit my needs as I don't always want a thicker butter. I guess it just depends on the weather and how my skin is acting. So if you make this cream, you can tailor the consistency to your liking as well. Just play around with it until it's perfect for you. Now I'm adding in my vitamin E, which is an antioxidant, not a preservative. So it helps to fight off free radicals and it has moisturizing and healing properties that benefit the skin. So this next step is completely optional. So I'm adding in essential oils because I like a little fragrance and essential oils offer healing properties for the mind, body and soul. I use essential oils in moderation, of course, and my shea and my coconut acts as a carrier oil. Now I'm going to make sure that they're mixed very well by whisking my mixture a little bit more. And just as an FYI, I used lavender and myrrh essential oil because of their therapeutic properties. 
Lavender is very relaxing and myrrh is said to have both antiseptic and wound healing properties, which is perfect for my dry, itchy skin. Now I'm just going to see if I have my desired texture and consistency. And yes, as you can see, my mixture is deliciously creamy and just the way I wanted it to turn out. And now I'm going to fill my small containers and I can take these with me when I'm on the go. They're the perfect size for my handbag so that I always have a hand cream or body cream with me. So I guess you can say that this is the perfect DIY travel size hand and body cream. Look how smooth and creamy that came out. So I'm just going to finish filling up another small jar and whatever is left over will go in my bigger container and I can always refill my small ones when I run out. Look how moisturizing this cream is. It seeps right into the skin. So guys, I let my cream sit overnight to see how they would set. And although they did get a tad bit more stiff, when I took a little from the jar, it was still super soft and melted on contact with my skin when applied. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I will see you in the next video.